Creating a custom ISO image for ESXi allows slipstreaming drivers into the ESXi boot media that allows you to install VMware ESXi on hardware that would otherwise be unsupported. Stick around today, I want to walk you guys through how you can use the VMware vSphere Auto Deploy feature to create your own custom ESXi ISO image. As a case in point, there is a really great uh, VMware fling that's called the Community Networking Driver for ESXi. And that VMware fling is basically a bundle of network adapter drivers that allow you to have access to the VIB files that you need to have ESXi actually recognize network adapters that it will not recognize out of the box. So that's a really great use case, uh, especially for home labbers such as myself, when you want to use hardware that may not be contained or found on the VMware HCL. So using the auto deploy feature, we can take those driver bundles, we can then implement those driver bundles into an ESXi base image and using auto deploy, we can then export that produced package as an ISO image that we can then install on our hardware. Since this functionality is found in VMware vCenter server, there are a couple of prerequisites that we want to make sure are in place before we can actually start to utilize the auto deploy uh, service inside of vCenter server to produce these customized ISO images. So the first thing that you want to do is log into the VAMI interface and in your vCenter server you want to check under services and you want to make sure there are two services that are running. Those services are the auto deploy service as well as the image builder service. Now each of these services are responsible for features and functionality that you will find under the auto deploy section of the administration interface in vSphere client. So the first thing we want to do is navigate to the uh, auto deploy section of our vSphere client. Now to do that you just click on the administration menu and you're going to notice that auto deploy is a feature or a option found in the administrative menus. So we're going to click auto deploy, I'm going to click new and you're going to see the dialog box add software depot. We're going to then select the radio button for custom depot. And here you can call it anything. I want to call it Cloud Local Depot. So I'm going to click Add, and that's it. It just adds a new software depot. And you can think of the software depot almost like a custom container location that allows you to import uh, not only your base images, but also the customized driver files that you want to integrate into the custom image that you want to create we want to now click the import option. Now the import option is actually where we're going to start importing those custom files as well as base images. So here I'm going to call this the ESXi 70U3D um, software depot. And the reason for that is I have already pre-downloaded ESXi 70 update 3D. Uh, so as you can see, I've got the zip file. I'm gonna just point to that zip file. We're gonna say open. And now we're going to upload that file. So the base image of ESXi 70 update 3D has completed uploading. And now we can see that we have under Software Depot, we've got the uh, 70 update 3D uh, zip file as a software depot and then we have our custom local depot. So we're going to click uh, import again. So we're going to say import. Now we're going to say community networking driver for ESXi. And these are the bundle of drivers that I've downloaded from the VMware Fling site. So we're going to say browse. Now we're going to point to that zip file. We're going to say open and we're going to upload. So now what we're going, to, we're going to do is we're going to go back to the base image that we had imported, the 70 update 3D package, 
And we want to clone this as a uh, into our new custom software depot. So I'm clicking this standard image that contains both the security and enhancement updates and I'm going to click the clone option. I'm going to uh, customize the name of this so it's a bit more intuitive. So we're going to say we're going to take off all the other details of the name and we're going to put an underscore custom with network drivers. So I'm trying to be intuitive here. We want it to make sense to us so we know what this image actually is. So now we can see that under Software Depot, we can say where do we want to clone to. So I am uh, leaving the Cloud Local Depot selected. So now we just simply click Next. And if you note, when we scroll down, you can actually see towards the uh, right-hand side of the dialog box, if you see the Depot, column, you can actually see where the files it's pulling from are coming from. So we see our community networking driver for ESXi software depot. So we can actually select this module, which tells us that we're now incorporating the bundle of drivers found in that software depot into this custom image. You can also uh, set your acceptance level, as you note, at the very top. You can say, I only want VMware certified. You can do partner supported or even community supported. So once you select your files, then you click Next. So we're going to simply click Finish. And after it finishes generating, then we simply have a download option. So if you notice, you can click Download and the custom ISO image will download to your hard disk. Then you can use that to uh, install onto a USB key using Rufus or another utility, or you can actually burn the image to physical media. So guys, what do you think about this ability to create a custom ESXi ISO image using the auto deploy functionality found in the vSphere client? Let me know by your comments on the video. Please do like the video and do subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys soon.